All right, we're doing another pre-drywall inspection. And what we see here is a garage wall. I'm standing in the garage. The house is on the other side, living space. And you've got one, two, three supply ducts that are going through um, basically exterior wall cavities on the garage. And it's not allowing for any amount of wall insulation around it because it's taking up the entire three and a half inch space and then some. They added the R8 bubble wrap insulation on here, but as you can see, there's no way that the drywall, once it's installed, is going to go from stud to stud. It's gonna bow out in this section. So essentially you have three uninsulated wall cavities in a brand new house. What needs to happen here, what we recommend is that they actually fur out the wall, which means that they frame out behind these sections and they could go all the way across this wall or they could just do it where the ducts are, although it'd look a little bit silly. But the reason you wanna frame this out is so that you have a full three and a half inch cavity space to insulate behind these ducts. We've seen problems with this where, especially in the winter time, where warm air is moving through these ducts directly in contact with the drywall and you have a really cold garage, you can actually get condensation forming on the interior side of the drywall, which eventually, if it's not corrected, will grow mold and mildew and other things. So definitely needs to be fixed. And unfortunately, this house is uh, being drywalled as we speak. So this may be something that the builder has to pause the drywall installation on in the garage to get it to be fixed. And if they don't, it's gonna be a problem later on.